We can also set up automatic reporting in AutoCAD Electrical. We can report even onto a drawing if we want to. Let's have a look at doing that now. We're going to create a thing called a set file, an SET file, which is a settings file. I've created a separate drawing for us there, creating set file, so let's add that to the project. You can't generate reports without it being part of the project. So we add the active drawing, yes to the project values, and we just make sure that the drawing properties there are obviously correct. So we go there, properties as usual, and change the sheet number. So that's all updated and ready to go. Now we've saved the drawing as well. What we need to think about now is the report format setup. So I go to my reports tab on the ribbon and report format setup right there. We're going to go for a component report. We're going to look at those components that are in our schematic drawing. Now there's various settings here that we need to consider. First of all, the category is schematic. It could also be hydraulic, pneumatic, PNID, and so on. We have got a schematic drawing with some components on it. We're going to include components, cable markers, and connections. And we could also include children for the above if we had that parent-sibling relationship between components. You'll notice as well we can do this for panels over here on the left as well, not just schematics. Now we can save the report to a file. We can change the report fields so we can say what we want to see on the report by going through the available fields and removing or adding. I can also sort the fields by the primary sort, the secondary sort, and so on. More importantly, though, I can put the report on a drawing. We'll look at that in a second. I also want to make sure that installation codes to extract are all and location codes to extract are all. Let's hop back now to that put on drawing. I can set all of the settings now on a drawing. I can put a table onto a drawing that will be my report. We're going to insert it as a new table. You can also insert it as a new non-updatable table. So it's like a snapshot and that's it. Ideally though, you want the table to be editable. You can also update an existing table on an existing drawing if you wish. Column labels I'm going to include. We're going to change the label color though. We're going to make that blue. And I can include the time and the date, the project information. I'm also going to include the title line, and I'm going to make the title color a nice red so it stands out. It will also go on the layer miscellaneous, which is totally fine. And we're going to show the title on the first section only. Now, the general text in the fields in the table, we're going to change that and we'll give that a nice dark green color, like so. I'm just making these colored so they stand out on the drawing when you see them on the drawing. Column width and borders, we'll go all borders and we'll calculate the column widths automatically. First new section placement, I can either pick a point on the drawing, I'm just going to go for 0, 0 there, a lot easier. And we've got a choice of row definition, last line, we can build up and move it around. We can apply special breaks and set the section distances there, or we can just say I want rows for each section, which is what I'm going to go for. So when I click on OK now, you'll see there that I go back to the format file setup screen. I'm just going to go back to put on drawing there. We could include the title line report for project, and it's got that great big long path. What I'm going to do there is I'm just going to remove all of that, and I'm going to call it components report one. It's a lot easier than that great big long path. It just stands out a little bit more into that great big long piece of text. I've just thought of that and it would look a bit better. So I'm going to OK that now. So that's all done. What I've got to do now, though, is save it as a format file. Save as format file there. As you can see, I'm in the user folder there, which is a default folder that gets set up when you install AutoCAD Electrical. I don't want to overwrite that one there. That's the default. So I'm going to go for comp report one as per the title on the drawing and it's a set file. So I save that now. So that's now saved and I click on done. That's done. All my settings are saved. So what I can do now is I can go up here now to automatic reports and I can use a file. I need to go and find that file though, first of all. So I click there. There's my user folder there and I OK that. I want a component file. Now, you'll notice as soon as I go to component, anything that is set up for components is there. There's my comp set, and there's my comp report one that I created earlier. So I don't have to go searching. 
you'll see that AutoCAD Electrical actually works out for each type of report what the set report is for. So as we can see there now, I'm now going to add that component report, comp report one. Now, first drawing name. Remember, we saved it to drawing. So what we need to do there is we need to actually put a drawing name in there. Now, we're using JIC. Remember our naming philosophy for drawings. And this will be component report one. When I click on OK, it will save the drawing. It will update. It will go through and create all of that. But more importantly, watch the project drawing listing. You'll see now there's my component report one drawing right there. So I'll go into that. If I just double click to zoom extents, there's my report. How cool is that? I've generated an entire report on all my components, brought it into a new drawing. So what I can do there now is I'll right click, properties, drawing properties. I'll give that a sheet value of 000, zero, zero so that my reporting sits there like that. And then what I can do is I can move that to the top of the list like that. So as you can see, component reports, very easy when you create those SET, those settings files.